is a really attractive angle. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jess and I am currently trying to lose a little bit of weight. I feel like I've been very productive this morning. It's only 28 minutes past 9 and I've had my breakfast, I've got ready for the day and... I've got, please excuse my underwear, but I've got my first set of washing out on the line. I mean, does that not scream like summer is coming to you, getting the washing out? <laughs> I am such a weirdo. Honestly, the things I get excited about are like, they're just getting ridiculous. I mean, what was it? Air fryers, frying pans, getting my washing out on the line. But you'll know what I mean. Getting your washing washed, dried away in the same day is like an absolute dream for me anyway. Um, yeah, a couple of you asked about my air fryer. So in the last video, I was planning on going and getting an air fryer, but I have had a recommendation a little while ago from a friend to get the Ninja Foodie. So I am saving up to get one of them because it is like the, apparently the king of air fryers it does everything apparently um air fryers pressure cooks there's love one that's got like nine in one um but yeah they are quite expensive so i'm gonna save up and get one of them just because i feel like that is just what i want <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing else to it other than the fact that i want it i am just going to quickly show you my breakfast how i made it i had breakfast waffles but I just basically used the baked oats recipe and stuck it in a waffle machine so I'll just quickly show you the ingredients that I used for that and how I made them and if you do enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up and go and hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified for when I upload next then you can hit the bell as well so without further ado we shall crack on to this video obviously I am filming this intro after my breakfast because this morning I woke up like the walking dead so basically all I'm going to be doing is I'm using the same ingredients that I would do for baked oats but I'm just going to be cooking it a little bit different so what I'm going to be using is I've got 40 grams of oats here which I'm just going to be blending up to make like a flour like consistency. I've got an egg here which is sin free. These by the way are your healthy bee um, for the day which the 40 grams is your healthy bee. I've got some baking powder which will be half a sin's worth and I've got some sweetener. So I'm only going to be using a teaspoon of this which is sin free. And then I've got some of the Faye Total 0% Fat Greek Yogurt. This is just one that I had left over from the weekend. And I'm going to be using 100 grams of that. Um, I've mentioned the egg. I've got some vanilla essence there, which is sin free. And then to top, I've just got some of the Sweet Freedom Chalk Shot. I got this from Aldi, but I think you can get it from pretty much anywhere. And I'm going to be using a tablespoon of that, which is two sins. So first thing I'm going to be doing is just um, blending up my oats and then mixing all of the rest of the ingredients apart from this because it's the topping. So I've just got out a banana because I'm going to top it with some banana as well, which is sin free, and then some raspberries, which are speed food. So like I say, all I'm going to do is just blend up my oats and then and um, mix the rest of the ingredients, bar the toppings, we'll keep them aside, um, into a measuring jug. And then this is what I'm going to be using to make my waffles. It is just, this is the um, Tower 3-in-1. So this is the plates that you can just pop these off. Hang on. So you can just pop these off and choose what type of thing that you make but it comes with panini ones and toasty ones as well so yeah i'll leave a link in the description for where you can get one of these if you want one um i quite like mine <laughs> This is now all mixed up. I'm just going to turn this on and wait for it to heat up and once it's doing that I'm just going to chop up my banana and then literally all I'm going to be doing is just pouring that into the moulds. A 
Okay, so this is what they look like when they've come out. I've just flipped them over and they were slightly brown on the other side. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We had a little mishap. Um, it's all come out the back. I feel like I put too much mixture in and it's all just splurged out the back. So, yeah, if you're going to do this, then maybe just make half of the mix. Don't do what I did. Um, and make too much and just squash it in but it still makes some nice waffles so I'm just gonna quickly go and clean this up and then um, and then sort out my toppings <laughs> And there is breakfast. So I don't actually think I've used a full tablespoon there, but I'll sin it as if I have, just to be sure. But yeah, so this comes to two and a half sins, uses your healthy bait, and this comes to 466 calories. Hello! Um, so I wasn't actually sure whether to film this because I wasn't planning on doing like a whole part of this video, but I've picked up some new things from Aldi which I haven't bought before, so I thought I figure I'll show you what I've got just in case you are interested. So today is Sunday. Um, which is di obviously a different day to what I'll be filming the rest of this video, but yeah, so I'll just quickly show you what I've bought from Aldi. So last week I went to Tesco's and did a food haul from there, and I'm not gonna lie, it was more expensive, and I thought that um, this week, because I was going back to Aldi, that it would be cheaper, because I've got most of the basics in. Obviously I went down the middle aisles and... Um, well, it wasn't that much cheaper. So yeah, so I'll just quickly show you what um, what I picked up and uh, their sin values. So starting over here, I've got some blueberries, which are speed food, and some raspberries, which are also speed food. I was a little bit disappointed because these um, all went out of date quite quickly, so I'm gonna have to eat them up. I've got some pineapple chunks, which are free food, and some bananas, which are free food along with some grapes, which are also free food. I like these little mini packets of grapes because I very rarely go through a big one, so I like that they do the little mini ones. I've got some uh, mushrooms, which are speed food. And then I've also picked up three of these, which are the Brooklyn Light Banana and Custard Yogurts. These are half a sin per yogurt. I'm not quite sure. I was writing the sin value of things that I, <laughs> so that I could remember, and I don't know why I've written seven over one. Supposed to say half, but yeah, these are uh, half a cent per yogurt, and um, they are like the Muller Light ones, like the quite decent sized ones. I've also picked up some skimmed milk, which you can have 350 mils of for your healthy A. Um, and I've picked up 12 eggs, which are sin free. I've got some cherry tomatoes, which are speed food. And then I've picked up some of the Emporium Kids Lighter Cheese Triangles. You can have three of these for your healthy A, or they're two sins per triangle. Now I swear they've changed because I scanned these a couple of weeks ago and they were one and a half sins and I thought I'll just double check it. And they're two sins now, so yeah, I think, I think they've changed. Um, could be wrong though. So yeah, this is one of the new things that I've picked up. So it is the specially selected Texas barbecue beef brisket. So I am really looking forward to trying this. It is five cents for the full pack, but it serves two. So it's only two and a half cents per serving, which I mean, how good does that look on the packet? Whether it looks like that when I put it on my plate, I don't know, but yeah, so I've picked that up. I've also got some carrot batons, which are speed food. I picked up an avocado, which um, is 14 sins for the full thing, or I only usually use half, so it would be seven sins, um, and I usually have it on like a bagel for breakfast or something. Um, so I've got one of them. I've also picked up some Greek 0% fat yogurt. This is just the Brooklyn one, and that is sin free. Another kind of newish thing that I haven't really tried is the chicken tikka slices. These are sin free, and I thought they'd be quite nice in like a wrap, maybe, it's like a chicken tikka wrap. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, so yeah, they are sin free. So another thing which I haven't picked up before is um, one of these. So these are the yellowfin sole and they've got a garlic and herb crust, which I thought sounded quite nice. And these are four sins per fish. And I thought they'd be quite nice on like a, a fish and chip Friday or yeah, I think I'm gonna make some fish and chips for them. Yeah, like I say, they are four sins per fish. And then I've got some of the lamb shanks. Now I've tried the uh, one in mint gravy before, but these ones are lower sins in the red wine gravy. Uh, so these are two and a half sins per lamb shank, so I'm gonna give them a go. Uh, in the back here, I've got two of my trusty packs of benefit bars. You can have two of these for your healthy bait, or they're three cents each. I've just got the chocolate fudge ones and the Jaffa ones. And then when I was sent one of these, I was very pleasantly surprised. And then I saw that they did them in Aldi. So I have picked up another one of these because I finished the last one quite quickly, actually. So yeah, I picked up one of these. This is sin free. It's the double chocolate one. And then, and then I saw a Jaffa cake one. I mean... 
my obsession with Jaffa cakes is getting out of control but like this this has to be nice I'll be so disappointed if, if this isn't nice but yeah this is also sin free so I really can't wait to try that then I've got some uh, red onions which are speed food I've got some cooked ham in the back which is free food and then I've picked up a box of the Vive Orange Zero Sugar these are sin free they're basically Aldi's answer to Fanta's um, so yeah they are sin free I've got some lemons which are speed food I've picked up a pack of uh, big medallions these are half cent per medallion and that is because they use brown sugar in them so that is why they are sinned i picked up two bottles of diluted juice this is the apple and black currant one and they are both sin free and then i decided to go with two different types of salad leaves this week uh, just to mix things up i guess i've got some of the watercress spinach and rocket which is speed food and the mixed leaf salad which is also speed food and then i've got some mushy peas which are sin free and i thought they would go nicely with my fish and chips and then i've got some of the glade wax melts because why not so yeah, um, that is everything that I've picked up from Aldi. So yeah, obviously I've picked up a, a few new things there, which I'm quite looking forward to trying because I kind of feel like I was getting myself into a little bit of a rut where I was just eating the same things day in, day out. So I'm happy that I've kind of gone out of my usual shopping list um, and found some other things which would be quite nice to try. So yeah. So yeah, I think I'm going to make myself one of them Jaffa Cake coffees because... I can't wait. I actually can't wait. I'm, I'm obsessed with Jaffa Cake. So I'm just going to go and stick this lot away and I'll catch up with you another time. Good morning everyone. So uh, please ignore my unmade bed in the background. We are getting to that. So I kind of thought as I was getting ready for the day that um, I, I would talk about something that I I wasn't initially going to talk about. It's a little bit personal to me but then I thought no actually we need to normalise this. So uh, this morning I am going to get a smear test. Um, so yeah, I had my first smear, smear test, sorry, um, at maybe it's the start of last year. I can't remember the exact date, but it basically came back confirming that I had HPV, which at first I was pretty scared about, but having done some research, you know, it is very common. So when I was in school, I actually had the vaccine for this, so I was a little bit confused. I was like... <laughs> Body, what are you doing? <laughs> You've been vaccinated against this. So yeah, and I was supposed to go and get a, another test in November, except for obviously Corona happened and they put them off. Um, I did try to book, but they said to try back in January. I tried back in January, still wasn't uh, operating. So I am having one today. Um, like I said, I wasn't really gonna vlog this. Obviously I'm not gonna vlog the actual smear test because that is a little bit um, TMI. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about it, not in too much detail, but just to kind of normalise the fact that women do this. We, we have things like smear tests, so we're supposed to. If not, this is your reminder to book it. So I am planning on walking there because the GP isn't that far away from me. Um, and that will also help me get my 10,000 steps in today. That is my plan for the day. Obviously, I've already had breakfast. I've had a shower. I am in the process of getting ready. Well, actually, I'm pretty much ready. I'm not planning on getting all dolled up to go to the, go to my smear test. But uh, yes. I've got Billy here sunbathing. How are you this morning, Mr. Bill? Oh, lovely. He's all warm. I love it when he's been sitting up. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going with that butt? <laughs> Oh, I am pretty much ready to go now. I'm just trying to find my headphones because um, I like to walk with some music on and I can't find them, so that is a bit of a pain. I don't know where I've put them. I had them literally the other day because I wore them when I was in Tesco's last week. Oh, how annoying. But yeah, it is. I have just been outside because obviously I've got my um, washing out. Although the sun's out, it's still a little bit chilly, so I'm, I've just got my puffer coat on, leggings, trainers. I've got my mask ready, uh, so yeah, I'm going to have another look for my headphones and then I'll head off. Right, I have found them, so I'm going to um, head off now. Hi, I've got an appointment at 20 past.
Right, I've literally just got back. Why am I so unfit? Oh my god, look how red I am. Um, yeah, so it only took me about 20 minutes to get there and a little bit longer to get back because I kind of went round a loop and I also stopped at the shop and I picked up some pom bears for my lunch because I haven't had these in years. So, yeah. Um, so I'll just show you my watch. So I've just paused it so I can show you. So 55 minutes. What I did was I actually... I Put it on and then when I got to the doctors paused it and then I started it again when I was leaving yeah 55 minutes 276 calories burnt and then I should be able to see how many steps I've done 7927 so I've still got a few more steps to go for the day but I reckon we can get there I am actually really hungry now that I've uh, come back it is Oh, it's just after 12 so it's acceptable to have lunch now so i am having just a bit of a picky lunch so i'll just make that up and i'll show you what i've got so this is my lunch i've got the uh the old bougie board out again just because i'm taking a photo for instagram but yeah so the carrots on here are speed food we've got five cents here for the pom bears they're not all on there though i've just got some left in there but they are 100 calories um let me just get my fitness pal up i always forget to do this uh the carrots in there are 26 calories at the garlic sauce that I'm using is this one it's the Heinz garlic sauce and I've used a tablespoon of that which is three sins and 74 calories uh, the ham is sin free and works out at 63 calories we've got a boiled egg on there which is sin free and 63 calories also and we've got three of the uh, kids lighter cheese triangles these are the ones from Aldi and they are one of my healthy A's for today um, they work out as 108 calories for the three of them and then I've got some grapes and blueberries. The blueberries are speed food and the grapes are free food. The grapes as 52 calories and the blueberries as 17 calories. So in total, I've got eight sins there and 500 calories exactly. So yeah, I'm gonna go and eat this, take some photos of Instagram, and then and then it might be time for my washing to come in. So I have my water bottle here. Um, this was full not long ago. I've just been drinking that as I've been putting that together. Um, this holds just over a litre and I try to have about three of these a day. This is my first ones i'm super thirsty today um and then i realized that i haven't had any of this so that will be why i've just got some of the apple and black currant squash in there which is sin free so yeah i'm gonna have the rest of this right so it's a little bit later on oh, oh my hair um i did end up going out for another walk but then my phone ran out of battery so i didn't manage to get any footage of that but i met my friend for a socially distanced walk down a nature reserve kind of near both of us so it's fair to say that I have smashed my 10,000 step goal and I'll just quickly show you, hang on, because I got it up on here. So I ended up doing, so I ended up doing 15,261 steps, which um, obviously is a lot higher than I thought it was going to be, so happy with that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make some tea now because it is actually 8 o'clock um, and I haven't made me tea yet and I am I am starving. I could literally eat anything that's not nailed down at the minute, so I need to make sure that I make my tea pretty quickly, otherwise nothing's safe in my house. So yeah, I'll just quickly show you what I'm making for that. I think I'm gonna have the Texas barbecue brisket. Is that what it's called? I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna have it with some mash and veg. So yeah. So I've got it there. This is um, just the one from Aldi. You would have seen it earlier on in the video. I actually bought this yesterday when I went to Aldi. Um, yeah, so this serves two um, and it's two and a half sins for the serving or five sins for the full thing. Preheated to my usual 200 degrees. Um, I'm just gonna pop that in and then I'm gonna just peel some potatoes and boil them. Right, so I've had a slight change of heart. Um, I was gonna have some mash, but instead I've just got, but instead I fancy some chips, but I can't be bothered to cut the potatoes up. So I've actually got some of the Aldi Slimwell oven chips in the freezer and they are sin free. So I'm just gonna pop them in. Uh, this is so DIY, but um, I've also run out of the JD seasonings chips and wedges. So instead I'm gonna be using the burger blend because I quite like that seasoning and I think it might go quite well on the chips so I'm going to do that instead. I mean not going to lie, not sh quite sure how this serves too, um, but yeah. I'm assuming that this like shreds and makes a little bit more than what is just there because believe you me I will be having the full thing if um, that is all it makes. So yeah, so I'm going to pop them in, it goes in for 20 minutes first. Um, and then I'm going to pop these in as well, these go in for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, with that i do of course still have the discount code for these this is you can use the code jess gets 20 to get 20 percent off your entire order and i'll leave a link in the description for where you can go and uh, check out their website
in the oven i thought i would just tell you a little bit about my doctor's appointment earlier because obviously i didn't film any footage whilst i was in there so i went in they just explained the process to me um obviously i'd had one before but that and just made me feel at ease and stuff obviously it's not the nicest of procedures but you know they do need doing and it literally took 10 seconds if that you know and i was out really quickly and i get my results in about four to six weeks they said so i'll just have to sit and wait for them but yeah so that is one thing that i don't need to worry about for another three years obviously if the results come back like abnormal then you know we'll go from there if you are worried about going to get one then don't you know the amount of time that these things take is like it's like getting an injection it's it's over within seconds so yeah if you are worried about getting one then you don't need to be definitely not um so yeah once again this is your reminder to book your smear i think people don't like to talk about it because the word smear is such an ugly word that like it makes it sound taboo even though it's really not it's just a procedure that every woman has to get and it's just making sure that we're healthy and that everything's working as it should do so yeah i'm just gonna sit and wait for my dinner to cook Oh my god, I am so hungry. If Billy's not careful, he's he's gonna be gone in a minute. He doesn't look too impressed by that. So I will check back in with you once my dinner is ready. Right, so this is my dinner now done. It is the veg is so hot. Um so what I've done is once you shred this a little bit, um it does go into quite a big portion. So I've used half of it there and I've just put half of it into a Tupperware box. And I think I might have that in like a wrap tomorrow, maybe. So yeah, that I think that'd be quite nice in a wrap. So here I've got uh, the Slimwell chips work out as 186 calories and are sin free. The beef brisket is two and a half sins and comes to 343 calories. And then the veg is only 56 calories and is most of it is speed food. Actually, it's just the peas that are free food. But yeah, so that is my dinner and that only comes to two and a half sins and 585 calories. Right, so I. I'm in bed because I very almost forgot to end this video so in regards to um, the food that I've had my breakfast was two and a half sins my lunch was eight sins and my tea was two and a half sins so that brings me to a total of 13 yeah eight, nine, ten, nine, to 13 sins which is a little bit higher than what I would usually have but um, I have thoroughly enjoyed everything that I've eaten so I'm happy with that and obviously you do have 15 sins there to play with so um, I am still under by two sins so calorie wise for breakfast I had 466 calories for lunch that was 500 calories and my tea was 585 calories which brings my day's total to 1551 and my calorie goal for the day is 1680 so I am still under my calories. I am quite happy with what I've eaten today. I've been um I've been quite full to be fair. I haven't felt like I really need other than obviously when I got back from my walk and I thought mm, I thought poor Billy was going to end up in the oven. So um so yeah, I am just going to end the video there. I am actually going to try it because obviously I've got my watch on today and um i've done well with my targets for that i'm gonna try and do at least 10,000 a day i've also enabled the sleep feature because i feel like i'm not sleeping very well at the minute so i'm just gonna have a i'm gonna wear it tonight which i'm not usually a fan of wearing things like watches for like for bed so we'll see how that goes um and it'll be able to track how well i'm sleeping etc so yeah We'll see how that goes anyway so i am gonna go to bed now because i am knackered and it is on well it's only half past nine <laughs> but you know never mind yeah so if you did enjoy the video then please give it a thumbs up and go and hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified for when i upload next then you can hit the bell as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Bye.